Well, we're gonna do something a little different right now. I'm gonna show you what we have set up here at the store. Because we can't um, have people doing uh, gaming and eating inside right now, we've repurposed our tables to show off our awesome uh, selection of games that are available to take home. And uh, so you can see here, we've set up some games. Here in this, uh, on this table, we've set up Santa Rainey. And this is a beautiful two player game. Really easy to learn. And then over here, we've thrown a, just thrown a whole bunch of games on the table that uh, haven't been fitting on our shelves lately because we have way too many uh, games. For example, all of these and all of those and all of those. Of course, here is our library, which uh, we're not able to really use right now, sadly. But uh, yeah, let's go see the rest of the table. So over here, we've set up Sonora and Dice Forge. Uh, Sonora is a very, very fun dexterity game. This game, you're going to be flicking those tiles, those little numbered tiles there. And then depending on which quadrant it fills in, that will let you fill in your score sheet in one of those four areas. And some of them have little, little uh, bonus things that let you chain things and fill in even more. Dice Forge is a really fun family game. Every turn, everybody's rolling their two dice. You'll see these dice, you can actually pop off the faces and replace them with these faces here. And they cost gold, which you can earn in order to get those faces. Over here we have Isle of Cats, which is a very cool polyomino tile placement game. There's a uh, standard mode and a simpler family mode in this game. So here you have to rescue the cats from Lord Vesh. Comes with these cool little cat figures and boats and really cool cards and tiles. Look at those cool cats. Yeah. Then over here we have Fireball Island. This is the Restoration Games remake of the classic 80s game Fireball Island. Really, really fun game especially for younger people, but even adults really enjoy playing this. And over here we have Splendor, really, really fun family game that we've been uh, playing for about four or five years now. We love this game. In this game, you are collecting these poker chips, these gems, and you use them to buy these cards. Here's the cost, two blue, two green, blue, two, two blue, black. Now, once you have these cards, uh, well, so you see some of them have point values on the top left and it's the first person to get to 15 that triggers the end of the game Whoever has the most points wins But the cool thing is once you've bought in, like this card for example that has a blue gem on it Now any future card you want to buy that costs blue gems costs one less because this is like a permanent discount towards blue so that is like a, it's like an engine building part of the game where the more of these cards you buy the easier you can get the more expensive high value point ones up here, and it's a race to 15 points. Lost Ruins of Arnak is a really cool deck building worker placement game. Everybody has hand of cards that lets them do different things, like collect gems, collect exploration tokens, different things like that. You're gonna use that to go out and explore these sites and you're going to go up on the research track over there, do all kinds of things. You're buying these cards that will go into your deck that'll give you more exciting things you can do on your turn. Um, yeah, and you are, oh, how, do you, how does this game end? I can't remember. I think it's maybe also a race to a certain number of points. I can't remember, I've played it twice. It's awesome, it's super fun. Anyway, moving on, Azul. Another game, we have multiple copies of this in our library because it's so popular. Here we have it set up showing what it might look like mid-game. On your turn, you are going to, let's, uh, let's put some more of these back here. Actually, let's go like that. All right, so if it was your turn, 
you would pick one of the dishes to take the, the tiles from the dish, but you have to take all of the tiles of the same color. So you could take like that one, or you could take these two red, but you couldn't just take one of the red. Then the remaining ones go into the middle, and then you take these two and you put them on your board. Now your goal is to fill up these rows at the end of the round when all of these are gone, any rows that you've completed, you get to move one of the tiles over to the corresponding spot on there, and then the remainder of them go back in the box. And uh, yeah, this is an awesome fun game. You get points for having your tiles over here. I won't explain the scoring right now, but super fun. Codenames is a great word guessing game. You and somebody from the other team are going to be giving clues. If you are the red team, then you are trying to get your team to guess the words in this five by five grid corresponding to the locations with the red dots. And so if you have to give a clue, let's see, I have to calf, board, chocolate, phoenix here, are some of my, um, words I have to give. I might give a clue like animal and say two, that there's two animals I'm trying to get you to guess. But the problem is there's not just phoenix and calf here, but there's also hawk and scorpion that aren't words um, I'm trying to get you to guess. So you're trying to get words that will get your teammates to guess the right words without trying to guess the wrong words. Then we have Shobu which is a very cool new two-player abstract strategy game. Your goal, if you are the player playing the black pieces, is to remove all of the white pieces from one of the four boards. On your turn, you have to do two moves. The first move has to be done on one of the two boards that is on your side of the table. And then your second move, if you chose the dark board first, then your second move has to be done on one of the two light boards, or as if, your first move was here, then your second move has to be here. The other trick is your first move cannot push the opponent's pieces, but your second move can. So plus you have to mirror, whatever move you make first, you have to mirror on the second board. So for example, I could move forward two spaces here. Whoa, this is turning. Move forward two spaces here. Now, because I've played on a white board, I have to play on a dark board, and I have to make the same movement, two spaces forward, so I could move two spaces forward here, one, and then the second move is going to push that one. Eventually, I wanna be able to push that rock off. Maybe white would now say, okay, they want to go like that two across, now that's called their passive move. Now they can make an aggressive move on the white side and they're going to choose this one and go one, two, and knock that off. Now it's black's turn again. And black could, cannot push here because on the first move of your turn, you're not allowed to do an aggressive move where you push, but you could go one like that. And then over here on the darker side, you could go one like that. So now both teams have removed one stone. Your goal, like I said, is to remove all the stones from one of the boards of your opponent, and then you win. So that's a look at some of the games we've set up at our table so that you can get a look at what these look like. We have so many more here for you to try out, uh, to take home at least anyway. And then once the restrictions are lifted and people can sit down again inside, then uh, this whole library of awesome games will be available as well, which we look forward to. Uh, it's a lot of fun when we get to see people enjoying the games in our library here uh, and uh, a little bit less fun right now. But in the meantime, we have awesome prices on board games. We have the best prices um, in Western Canada on board games, uh, no word of a lie there and uh, we invite you to come down and try them out. And uh, we're also still doing takeout of our yummy baked goods, which are getting put onto, into display right now. They're not all here. There's being more being baked right now as I speak. And uh, we also, of course, have hot and cold drinks and milkshakes. You can see our 
uh, milkshake menu right up there. We have a lot of amazing drinks and they are yummy. So come on down and uh, look forward to seeing you. Take care. Bye.